The earliest surviving mention of the lost continent of Atlantis was passed down to us by the Greek philosopher Plato. And Plato got his information, he said in the Timaeus, from Solon, an earlier Greek philosopher. And Solon, in turn, and lawmaker, got his return, his information from an Egyptian priest, a priest of Sais in the Delta. And what that priest said, referring to records going back more than 9,000 years before his time, was this. He said that our Earth is periodically visited by a gigantic cataclysm, and that every time this happens, mankind is forced to begin again like children, with no memory of what went before. And I suspect, I really do, that that's what we are. We are a species with amnesia. We're children who've forgotten our own parents. But those parents who were destroyed in that great cataclysm at the end of the last ice age, I'm now certain that some of them did survive and that they settled in places like the High Andes and most prominently of all in Giza where the three great pyramids and the great sphinx stand. And they, Robert and I are now convinced, found a way to pass down the memory of who they were and of the special, wondrous knowledge that they had to the future. They found a way to wake us up again. They created a kind of alarm clock for the planet, a beacon that would draw people towards it and at the right time, when conditions were right, would wake us up. And when I look around the world today, amidst all the turmoil and killing and disaster, I also see a sign of hope. I see a great awakening of consciousness amongst open-minded people everywhere. I think that ancient beacon is working. I think the message that it has sent down the ages is beginning to come through loud and clear.